Warning, this game is rated M for sexual themes and strong language. Viewer discretion advised. Do you remember this place? Yeah, I remember coming here. My mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. And they've always been at war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest, Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant, his blood brother, Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. Mundus believed that only one child was born, but there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons, the Rebellion for Dante, the Yamato for Virgil. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad? Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons? Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the Demon King. Good. How? Spotter. <laughs> Fucking demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat. She'll get you out. Stand firm. Oh, don't worry. I will. All right, everybody. I'm Gangster Five Twenty Two, and welcome back to DMC Double Make Five. We are now on mission three. Here we've got our very first time, and I did a horrible dodge, horrible time dodge right there. What I like to do with tyrants is I like to, whenever I get the chance to pull them off their back, I do that. And then once I pull the, once I pull their back to their when they're lying on their back, I just follow up with a fully charged earring. That way I can, uh, that way I can just start juggling them in the air. Fully charged Revenant Bombs for the win. Now we got a Dream Runner. This is a Dream Runner that actually cooperates with me. Like, he actually does what a Dream Runner should. Follow up with a char- So basically you want to do a fully charged Snake Eyes, roll away from them, Get some distance. Whenever he does his teleport, you just want like as soon as like the portal he's gonna come out of appears, that's where you want to attack. Like so, charge, and it's gonna be right there. Attack. Simple as that. Dream runners may look like the toughest enemies, but the truth is they're not. Dante, the gateway's ready. Come on. Here. Gonna head over here. Can you get across? I'll have to find another way. Time to deal with a bunch of rage spawns. There's a way I like to deal with rage spawns. First I do an aerial buy-in and then I follow up with a fully charged stomp. Takes all of them out. Missed one right there. 
He's got another bash, so I'm gonna do it again. Because it's fun. And it turns out there's a tank on the other side of the part, uh, on the other side of this fountain, which I didn't even notice. I like the demon evade, uh, I like the demon evade tanks a lot. It really helps with taking them down fast. It's really easy to dodge most of the things you have, too. And it's dead. Get some health, why not? Got two Ravagers, nothing too... Nothing to like freaking out right now. I accidentally do round trip and then I just, just drop this guy. That's probably like the craziest way I've ever handled a Ravager. Probably more or less it felt like I was overdoing it, to be honest. That was a very sloppy attempt at improvising, that's what that was right there. Because I, I usually have fun trying to improvise on this game with different types of attacks and techniques and such, but that was a poor excuse. Of an attempt. Another blue rose. Just gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna angel boost to it. And we're going back into our subconscious again. This is human affliction. You are not human, Doctor. You are not human. Back at Subcon. No, not really. That's a reference to Mario Brothers 2, if you guys didn't know. USA Mario Brothers 2, not Lost Levels. I've never beaten Lost Levels. It's really hard. Once we come out of that, it's time for the last batch of enemies. Flying rats. First, we got some shielded pathos. Nothing too big to deal with. We got some elite sentients. Oh, what do you mean? Or try a Trinity Smash there. Good demon evade out of nowhere. Oh, 
Now we got Rage. Now we got a Rage and a Witch. As long as I keep a Kila on that Rage, I'm just fine. Because I gotta make sure the Rage stays occupied while I'm trying to deal with the Witch. Dead. Nah, it's just the rage we have left. There we go. Cat, on my way. And that was the rest of the enemies. Silver Sachs Tower, the world's most powerful investment bank. And who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder. A human vessel. The physical manifestation of Mundus, the Demon King. Through debt, he controls everything. To Mundus, the world is a factory farm for human souls. And he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation. A global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spies. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, virility. The demons have spiked it. Ah, it's okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. It's lobotomy in a can. So what's the plan? That's the Hellgate. A conduit from which Mundus draws his power. While he's connected to the Hellgate, he's immortal. But we get him away from the Hellgate, and our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurts, let his anger rule him, I believe we can draw him out. Okay, so, to kill Mundus, we need to drag him away from the Hellgate. We do that by pissing him off. Roughly speaking, yes. And we piss him off by taking out the Raptor News Network and Virility. That's it. Which one do you want to do first? And that's the end for mission three. Short mission. Nothing a whole lot went on. Not a whole lot of enemies, but not expecting a whole lot of style points either. Plus, the game doesn't expect a whole lot of style points either way as well. And there's our triple S. So, with that, I'll see you guys on the next mission. See you later.